Unit Five, Lesson One, Page Ninety Two, Exercise One. Listen and read. Why couldn't many people work as scribes? Jobs in ancient Egypt. People in ancient Egypt worked very hard. Everyone had a job. They could work as fishermen, bakers, doctors, and traders, but most people worked as farmers. Farmers were very important for ancient Egypt's economy. They worked in fields which were near their homes. They planted crops, usually grains like wheat, corn, and flax. They grew vegetables and fruits too. Ancient Egyptian craftsmen were very good too. They made beautiful paintings and beautiful gold jewelry and sculptures. They used to weave beautiful clothes and make colorful cooking pots. The craftspeople were skillful, and everybody in the community respected them. Fewer people worked as scribes. Scribes knew how to read and write well. Egyptian writing was not easy to learn. Scribes spent many years learning hieroglyphs, and this was very expensive. Ancient Egyptian women worked at home and could work outside too. Women cooked meals, cleaned the house, and took care of their children. Women could weave baskets, bake bread, and make sandals, and they could sell them at the market as well. They could even become pharaohs. One famous queen in ancient Egypt was Hatshepsut. Everyone in ancient Egypt. Knew that work was important for life, so the ancient Egyptians were very successful. Unit Five, Lesson One, Page Ninety Three, Exercise Three. Listen and repeat. Then match the words to their descriptions. Doctor. Craftsman, trader, scribe, hieroglyphs, Unit Five, Lesson One, Page Ninety Three, Exercise Four. Now listen and check. One. Scribe. People with this job were very important in ancient Egypt. They could write everything down. They kept records and lists for many important things. Two. Trader. People who did this job traveled up and down the Nile. They bought and sold things. Like gold, wood, linen, and grains. Three, craftsman. If you were good at making things, this was a good job for you. People with this job made things from clay, wood, and gold. Four, hieroglyphs, a system of writing. Which consisted of about five hundred signs, written in rows and columns. People used it in ancient Egypt. Five. Doctor. Both men and women could do this job too. You had to go to medical school to have this job. You had to look after people who were ill. And make medicine.
Unit Five, Lesson Two, Page Ninety Four, Exercise Two. Listen, read, and look. Are all ecosystems the same? What is an ecosystem? Everything in the natural world is connected. This connection between living and non-living things is called an ecosystem. Ecosystems can be small, like a rock pool, or they can be very big, like the Amazon rainforest. The living things in a rock pool are fish, crabs, and seaweed. The non-living things are rocks, water, sand. And sunlight. All these things work together to make an ecosystem. There are lots of different ecosystems on Earth. Unit Five, Lesson Two, Page Ninety Six, Exercise Six. Listen. And read. What do animals and plants need to survive? Why are ecosystems important? Everything in the natural world is connected. An ecosystem is a place where animals, plants, and other living things live together. Animals and plants need each other to live. They also need suitable conditions. Animals eat plants, insects, and other animals to survive. They need food, water, and shelter, and they need the weather to be at the right temperature. Plants need sunlight and water to survive. Some plants need animals. Birds and insects to carry seeds to other areas so they can grow. They also need the right climate. Climate is also an important part of an ecosystem. Trees give us oxygen. This makes the air cleaner and allows plants, animals, and humans to live in a comfortable environment. Unit Five, Lesson Three, Page Ninety Eight, Exercise Two. Listen and read. Underline all the jobs in the text as you hear them. My trip to Nubia with a tour guide. Today, more than three million people in Egypt work in tourism. There are hotel managers. Waiters, chefs, boat captains, hotel workers, farmers, drivers, and shop owners. All of these people help to make Egypt one of the world's best places to visit for a holiday. And of course, one of the most important jobs is a tour guide. Tour guides show tourists the country they are visiting. They need to know about the places that the tourists want to visit, but they also need to be friendly and welcoming so that the tourists have a good holiday. One place you will find amazing Egyptian tour guides is in Nubia. Nubia has many historical monuments and interesting places to see, like the Great Temple of Ramses II. Elephantine Island, and the island of Philae. One of my favorite trips last year was to the small village of Abu Simbel. The hotel chef had prepared a delicious breakfast of bread, yogurt, and fresh fruit for us to eat before we left with Ali, our tour guide. Rami, the taxi driver, told us stories of old Nubia. And its history, all the way to Abu Simbel. The Great Temple 
is wonderful, and Ali told us all about its history. He knew such a lot, and we learned so much from him. It's amazing to think that builders, architects, and archaeologists were able to move the enormous temples. We also bought souvenirs from the market traders near the temples. Rami took us to a local restaurant where the chef made us a delicious traditional dinner, and we watched the beautiful sunset over Abu Simbel. It was the best day of our holiday. Unit Five, Lesson Four, Page One Hundred and Two, Exercise One. Listen and read. What does the grasshopper want to do? It's spring. The sun is shining, and the fields and gardens are full of flowers for the animals and insects to eat. It's a lovely day. The bees are buzzing, and the butterflies are flying in the sun. The ants, however, are working hard. The lazy grasshopper spends most of his time relaxing. He doesn't like to work. Today, he is resting against a tree. When he hears a strange sound, he wants to find out what it is. He looks over the garden fence. What are you doing, Aunt? Asks the grasshopper. I'm working, replies the ant. But it's a beautiful day, says the grasshopper. Why don't you stop working and we can have some fun? Thank you, but I need to carry on with my work, says the ant. But working is so boring, replies the grasshopper. Maybe, says the ant. But it's something we all have to do. We must think about the future, not just today. The grasshopper didn't understand, and so he just hops away. Soon, it is fall. The ant has worked hard, and all his crops have grown well. The ant doesn't stop working until he has harvested all the food and taken it inside for the winter. Soon, it is winter, and it's very cold. The grasshopper is hungry. He doesn't have any food, and he can't find any. Suddenly, he remembers the conversation he had with the ant. He knocks on the ant's door. I understand you now, ant. You worked, and now you have food. I didn't work, and now I'm hungry. Come in, says the ant. Yes, it's fine to have fun, but it's also very important to work hard. Unit Five, Lesson Four, Page One Hundred and Four, Exercise One. Listen and repeat. Owl. Down. Town. I. Why. Light. Oi, boy, enjoy. Unit Five, 
Lesson four, page one hundred and four, exercise three. Listen and check. Then listen and repeat. Owl. Brown. Loud. Mouse. I. By. I. Try. Oi. Noise. Point. Toy. Unit five, lesson four, page one hundred and four, exercise five. Listen and check. Then listen and repeat. One. She's a biologist. Two. She's a journalist. Three. He's a receptionist. Four. She's a pianist. Five. He's a scientist.